God, that looks good. I have really good taste, if you guys didn't know that already. Hey, what's up, guys? Welcome to the episode of Pat's Taste Performance. Today, we're going to look at our free lawnmower. That's right. I beat Henry to a free lawnmower. Can't believe it. And it comes with the bag or two. And it runs, but he had to do some uh, fugazi stuff to get it running. Look at this pull cord job. This is why it was free. Oh, besides the cable missing and all this stuff. Ugh. Nope. Not happening. We are going to not fix that. We are going to use this for parts. Now, he did start this for me. Oh. Oh. And this thing shakes like a mother. Wonder why. Oh, is this blade upside down? No. I'm just gonna see if this. Damn. See this here? This is no good. If this goes further up into the shaft, it could heat up that seal and cause a leak. This thing shakes really bad. Maybe because that's screwed up. But uh, we're going to get this mower engine off. And we're going to put it on the deck that I have. Right. Three wheeling. Three wheeling. Three, oops. Three wheeling for me. Let me go get our deck. Don't mind me. I'm just taking my thumbnail. Hopefully I didn't cut off my end. Alright. That is going to go on to there. This should be bolt on. And it has a throttle cable for this. So, let's get this party started. Let's get this out of my be a Muffler side down. I already sprayed the three mounting holes with Let's get this blade off. Ooh, different size. Alright. This should be 9 sixteenths, I hope. I wonder if this is what oh my god. That's probably why there was a wobble. Hmm. You could probably save this blade. Check this out. This is layered. 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 Oh yeah, just don't pick it up. Just, just keep running it over. Alright, I'll stick that back in here. Just because. And we'll switch to our half inch. That's not good. Uh oh. One of these is going to break. one. Is it going to break? Look at that. Alright, two broke. That sucks. <sighs> so much for being easy. So much for being easy. I'm gonna have to drill those out. I don't even have my good drill bits here. Yeah, of course, we got gas all over the place. 
<sighs> That's life. Let's see if we can thinking out loud. Alright. Obviously we it's so Corona should be draining the oil and the gas, but I'm not. Alright, so I'm going to drill a relief hole. I'm going to try to. This is an automatic center punch, so my drill bit doesn't drift. All right, so what we did is drill a relief hole, so we're going to relieve pressure on the inside. Technically, I should have drilled a hole in the bolt first before I tried ripping them out. If I knew they were going to seize, but that's life. All right, let me go get some easy This is a Hanson Irwin Master screw extractor, left-handed drill bit. I didn't bother with the left-handed drill bits because I know they're just not going to work. It's really not worth it. This is a rebranded snap-on kit. It is guaranteed for life as well. So let's see if we could work this out. And I probably am going to get a little bit of heat too. But let's... Let's tap that in. And let's see what we got. Mrs. Pat Taste Performance knows better. When she sees this or this, with my re-threading set up, she knows to leave me alone. <laughs> she knows it's not a fun time. What I'm doing now is trying to just put a little heat on this block, but in reality I'm heating up the coil. <sighs> I mean the tap, but the tap heat should transfer to the aluminum block and free this up. The only reason why this snapped off, obviously it's in a crappy location, is that we have two different metals. Aluminum and hard steel. And that is a disaster for rust. If you guys paid attention, when I use anti-seize on everything, so stuff like this doesn't happen. Oh, please don't break. Let's see. This ain't happening. This is not happening, folks. She's not coming out. She's gonna be a little stubborn. What we're trying to do now is get this tap out. I 
thinking about maybe even going the smaller tap. So we'll probably get a little bit. More bite. You know what I mean? See? But then the risk is we go with a smaller tap. The thinner metal we have. Actually, I don't even know why I did that. That was a stupid mistake. I'm also tempted to weld a couple of nuts. That's what we're going to do. We're going to weld. Last resort while we're here at the house. What happens is we're going to weld a stud, a nut, right? And the heat from the weld is going to get inside this hole here and heat this up and hopefully break it free. What's up, guys? Welcome back. It is another day. Called a wrap uh, late last night. Didn't go to bed until uh, midnight. I had to uh, edit a very long video. Try not to give you guys a long video, but... That's just the way this upload is going to be. Now, I am ahead with uploads, so I don't know when it will be released. But you guys will see it. It's another generator. So, I brought it to work where I keep my good drill bits, and it went right through. Now, the issue is because I didn't have a good workspace area, they're a little crooked, so we'll see. See? Now, if you guys know, drill hog is what I use at work, and I really should get a set at home. Um, probably going to wait for the next eBay buck sale, and I'm going to invest in some drill hog drill bits for the house. Look, all the oil is coming out from having this upside down. So just in case these drill bits are off-center, right, they won't line up, I've got longer bolts and we will nut and bolt it with lock washers. So let's get this over to the engine and uh, we'll go from there. Here we are. I have everything here. So we just have to get the engine fixed. Just a socket. Yeah. Want to know why it's bad? It's missing the star pattern and the tits. This one's pretty obvious engine bolts from the actual engine itself and the original blade of that. Nonetheless, let's get this mounted and then from there we will worry about the beauty work. Cable out of the way. So this is your going from the newer plastic style engine back to the quantum. So 
let's start in reverse. You see what I'm doing here? Because I'm using anti-seize. So if this person off the factory, from the factory, if they use anti-seize, right? This will reduce the risk of engine bolts snapping. So, how am I going to capture this on camera? You can't. Because, I have you guys the wrong way. Remember, keep the floor side down. So I really can't show you, but I mean, listen. Use common sense, right? We talk about that all the time. Oh. thinking it. Hey Jason, how come you're not using your impact? A very good question. Like I said, these bolts are a little bit off-center. So if I run this down with my impact, I won't be able to feel any tension per se. I don't want to snap anything. And it's not that I want to snap the bolt again. I can care less. I don't want to snap the engine mounting because that's made of aluminum. And then we're really up a Poops Creek. I'm gonna have to abandon this project. We're not gonna do that. We're gonna go nice and slow. We're gonna take our time. Because this is already a simple task that's been complicated. So let's not do that. Let's get this engine in here. Nothing wrong going old school. We have the wrong extension. This one uh, has the deep tip ball. I'm gonna win a chicken dinner. I'm talking about. This blade, this blade. Probably gonna recondition the blade. Let's take a look at this thing. Let's remember this thing had a nasty shake. You know, let me just take a look at it. And then you guys can take a look at it. This is a really nice tip. Really good for bagging. Yes, yeah, so I'm going to recondition this blade and then we'll move on, even though look at this edge. This blade is kind of crappy, but we'll make it work. We're going to try. We're going to try. The blade was really 
crappy. We'll see if I bring it back. I didn't bother trying to paint it yet. Because remember, well, when I got this machine, the freebie one, it ran, but had a really nasty shake to it. And if you guys remember, I had all the garbage bags wrapped around the crank, and the wheel was <laughs> rotted out. So, we'll see what that brings. So we'll get this mounted up. That now we have to repair the recoil on this thing. because maybe you know what? No, we have to. No, maybe we don't. For starting purposes, we won't have to repair the recoil, but we will. So let's undo all these zip ties. up top, off camera, you guys could figure that out. Let's see what we got underneath. Can we make this work underneath? Yes, we will. This is going to work. Oh, come on. Oh, yeah. Oh, look at that. Yeah, we did. All right, let's, let's just check this one. Add this motor upside down, inside out. Let's see where that leaves us with the oil. Obviously, we're going to change it. Oh boy. It really isn't much. That's all right, we're going to top it off. I'm going to pull that air filter too because that's probably messed up now, too. Look at this air filter. And even better. Look at that. That's gross. So we gotta clean that all up too. This is a prime for a good time engine. Due to the horrible condition of this, we're just gonna... I don't wanna clean this. Put this in my parts washer. I'll be right back. All right, so power covers back on. Let's see what we get. New air filter cover. The base, base. The cover is the one that goes over. Guarantee the spark plug is covered in oil. But let's just see anyway. Ooh, I'm priming. I see gas. Yes, yes, yes. Let's give it a shot, all right? Doesn't hurt.
That's a real nasty shape. Ugh. All right, so I have a brand new blade that I guess I sharpened for a machine or a project and it never panned out, but that's fun. Fits right in. I'm gonna start again. Not gonna get me. Plugged it in. Come on, girl. Oh, no gas. Let me have gas. That's prime. Clean this out, put an air filter on there, redo the coil. We're almost done, baby. All right, so let's put this air filter in. We're definitely going to pull this spark plug too. This doesn't really start on the first pull. You know, I have to put a lot of oil in here. The oil's now the oil's black still. So we'll get this thing nice and hot, and we're going to change the oil too. Lot of work for free. God damn. Uh oh, I'm gonna have to sell one more. No. Somebody else. Alright. So let's let's get this two Phillips screws for all. And then we will expose the recoil housing slash engine shroud. So that's the only thing I don't like comparing from working to snowblowers to lawnmowers. To get to the recoil housing is a little bit more complicated. Oh, I think I have to sell it. Alrighty, so let's do this recoil. Five sixteen. Three recoils. There's going to be one more. I like to call it the hidden one, even though it's not hidden. It's just one that you really don't expect. We can just slip our gas tank over like so. Look at this. You know what? I power washed this engine because I drilled everything at work. Guess that wasn't enough. There's a lot more underneath. Here is the hidden bolt. I like to call it right there. Like I said, it's not hidden, it's just, I don't know, when I first started working on these and taking them apart, I just didn't expect that. Uh -oh. Uh -oh. 
Whoops. A little speed. Ah. So I'm hoping to have this one mower sold already because I had other people who wanted to buy the one mower I just sold. So I'm kind of can't say the word pressured, but I'm pressed to get this done today. These are three eight bolts, two in the back, two in the front. And as you guys could tell, my Milwaukee M12 ratchet is just making quick work of this. If you haven't realized, you guys ready? Do you think it's going to be like gr like grass and mouse, or just a mixture of everything? Oh my god. What the hell? This is just straight up grass. What the f- Alright. Um. It's blowjob time. Sorry. We, gotta, we have to give this machine a blowjob. We can't, uh... We can't do this. These are the cooling fins that help cool the engine. Look at this here and here. This is our intake that likes to crack due to heat. This thing is definitely due for a blowjob. So let me go get my uh, compressor. I think it's, I think it's cold. Ooh, that's bad. I'm trying to give myself a blow job. That was really the case. I wouldn't be married. Ah. You guys, blow the not to lick it. <laughs> if you guys get corona, it's not my problem. Let's see. Yeah, screen's still clear. All right, so that's kind of embarrassing. I don't know where I put my rope. I thought I cleaned out my garage. And I remember the last time I used it. I mean, I keep it in a general area. So we're just gonna... We're just gonna take it off this. It is what it is. I'd really like to show you how to put a new rope on there. I mean, normally if I would have found my rope, I would have just done it. Oh, yeah. remember what engine this is off of. Or why? It's an electric start engine. But nonetheless, put it on. I know it's sad, right? This flywheel's worth. I think it's worth some money. Mm. It's still track. Right. Back onto here. And we're good to go. Slide this through here. You know, the crazy, well, the reason why I don't like doing this is, God forbid, this guy runs into issues. And the next person does per se, right? When we go to look up parts for this, <laughs> we're going to get you know, see? This is not bolting up. What do 
we have two. Okay. That's crazy. It's here. get some tin slips. We have to shave this. No! Now we have clearance. I'll swing you over. And I'll show you, but let me get this, this on here. Yep, alright. Go, Tenjong! I think I painted this deck a little bit when I first got it. I didn't know the motor was going to be shot. So I just, ah, you know, I want to get some free time because it was nice out. Let me start the paint work on this thing. Oh boy. Oh boy. I never throw out good decks. I'll store good decks. I'll always have a shortage of decks and engines. You know what I mean? Because most of the free ones that I get are going to need some type of work. I'm very lucky so far this season. I haven't really gotten a lot of junk mowers. And the free ones that I found so far are very good. You know what? Because this is like rusty. And this is the first thing to see this. Oh my god, come on! Come on, JC. See this right here? I have to trim this, it wasn't hitting. Here. Let's, let's touch this. Oh, okay. It's just dirty. I was gonna just throw a quick coat of paint on that, but I don't need to. All right, let's get this up. Let's get our hidden bolt back in here. Golly, come on. I'm going to edit this video. I'm going to edit this video. I'm going to count how many times the freaking fuel one popped out. If 
guys are paying attention. You see what I'm doing? You paying attention to what I'm doing? Starting everything by hand so we don't strip anything. <laughs> this project <laughs> has already taken a lot longer than I wanted to. But it's okay. We got another project mower out of the way. Right? And we got money coming in. We like those. Look at this, baby. Like it almost belongs here. That's what we like. When you do Franken mowers, try not to make it obvious. If you're keen on lawn mowers, you might tell this is a Franken mower, but most people won't. And there's been a couple of Franken mowers I've done. And not even some of the pros could figure it out. Now the ones that. Uh -oh. Miss that. How the heck? How that happen? Whoa, that pulled right through. It's not supposed to happen. How is that possible? You guys know what I'm talking about, right? This engine cowling came off. This engine, even though we, we redid it, right? But it pulled through the actual cover. I really don't want to put a washer. That. I really have to clean this up. <sighs> Alright, if this doesn't start with ease, we're gonna have to pull the spark plug just to see what it looks like. Do we need to replace it? Do we need to regap it? Let's see what we got. We don't have to do anything. Alright, so I'm going to clean this up. I'm going to change the oil. And I'll see you guys back in a little bit. has been changed it has been posted um, it's like kind of weird uh, a guy came up the driveway just a little funny had a, a mask and everything and he was asking about uh, COVID-19 testing um, essential work or non-essential he said he would test me uh, probe me anally oh my god hell no he said he would do it if uh, I would take a uh, watermelon white claw. I'm like, no, 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 no. So, uh, you know, he ended up walking away and he went right over there. He just kept on walking and I think he's going to go around the bend and hit the other houses and go right into town. All right, guys, that's it. Success, 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 success.
winner, winner, chicken parm dinner, right? <laughs> so listen, so we got that free lawnmower, and we turned it into absolutely something. So, even though it took a little bit longer than we both would like to admit, it's always a good feeling to get a project out of the project pile, right? So, I'm sure the missus is going to be happy. <laughs> <laughs> and I'll be happy too. So, with that being said, now we know that the old classic Quantum will fit on the newer mower decks that have the plastic 550-430 EX series engines. And it actually looks really good too, right? If I wasn't in a rush or if I had a little bit more time, Hear me out, hear me out, hear me out. Think about this, right? This is like a, that Troy built red that's on the newer Craftsman. This is an older Craftsman red, which we like to call Regal Red, right? So we've got one, two, three, black. I think this is like a gray. I don't know. But if we were to take this down to black out the wheels, black out the housing, this would kind of look a lot better, but I got to keep it moving. Um, I sold the lawnmower in less than 24 hours for, actually two lawnmowers, in less than 24 hours of posting them. So I guess the spring sprint is still alive. I just wanted to uh, get this done and get it out of here. Listen, if this thing sits for about 24 to 48 hours with no hits on it, how about this? I pull off the wheels. Pull off the shroud cover, and uh, we'll shoot some black on there. All right, and then it's going to be a little pain in the booty hole, right? Because I already did my special sauce on here to make it look nice. So that means I'm going to have to do a little elbow grease to uh, get it off. Because I know for sure the paint will not stick. All right, guys. All joking aside, if you guys found this video helpful, smash the like button, smash the subscribe button, and guess what? I'll see you guys on the next episode of Pat Taste Performance. And don't forget, Mrs. Pat Taste Performance and I, we go live every Saturday morning, 8 a.m. to 9 a.m. Eastern Time. Small engine talk, life, whatever, what's going on. It's a good time. It's an hour long. Sometimes she wants to run a little bit longer, but, I mean, be there or be square. Later.